This is the uh, live tracking on flight radar 24 of aircraft flying across the Atlantic over to Europe. And what I'm looking at is the fallout of the aircraft fuel emissions and the potential of fuel additives <coughs> affecting the atmosphere for, as they say, contrails, but we're looking at chemtrails and deliberate geoengineering. Now, just follow this. Aircraft follow the jet stream because, as it says there, they can have record-breaking travel times thanks to the jet stream. And this is according to the Met Office. Pilots travelling east, say, from the US back to Europe, use the jet stream to cut journey times and save fuel, just like a cyclist uses a tailwind on a bike. So, let's follow this through. There is the jet stream. Currently, it does alter, but interestingly, this is where the aircraft would fly, flying from west to east. And so, this is where they are flying right now, which tallies in absolutely perfectly. Now, flying the NATS, the North Atlantic Organised Track System, you can see the direction that they are told to fly in. They are separated by lanes, similar to vehicles travelling on a motorway. So, watch this. This is exactly where they fly. So, this is a video showing where aircraft actually fly from the USA, Canada, and further south, Mexico, across the Atlantic, and over to Europe over Ireland and towards the UK. So now we've established this. As you can see it even at certain times of the day there are thousands of aircraft that make this trip each day and you would expect that you will be able to see where these aircraft have flown and you would be absolutely correct. So here we go, let's look. Bingo. So there is the UK and Ireland, and this is where the aircraft travel. You, this is taken at 12 o'clock midday. So, as you can imagine, this is a single shot per day of where the aircraft are traveling. We've also got satellite videos that show these clouds are being formed in this area. So thousands of jet aircraft are creating a mass of fallout um, which creates cloud formations and this is absolutely deliberate. We know there are additives to the fuel as they've spoken about an overview of geoengineering of climate using stratospheric sulfate aerosols. Um, and incidentally, Alan Robock is mentioned in here as one of them. So, as we can see in here, further down, um, it mentions techniques of spraying into the troposphere aircraft sulfur and the cloud transport of source gases and to create clouds in the atmosphere. And I did it highlight it. Um, and it speaks about aerosols are much stronger in the troposphere uh, the lifetime of sulfate aerosol particles um, is a few days but they can add it on a daily basis going on and on every day and this is exactly where we see it in fact many a time you can zoom in and see the individual aircraft trails as they are flying just at that point when this satellite photo is taken. Now in actual fact it doesn't just stop there. You would expect that when aircraft fly you would find the same effect also and it's unusual that the bulk of the clouds take place and occur where aircraft actually fly. Here is a section of Europe. Masses of aircraft fly around Europe. What about China and Asia? 
we always have a mass of cloud in this area here looking at China so what do we see over in China let's have a look bingo masses of aircraft on a daily basis thousands in fact fly in this area and it matches perfectly to the cloud formations that we see aircraft flying in on the NASA worldview you see these cloud formations in exactly that position this is a Boeing 737 and I'll show you some of the specs for uh, uh, one of the Boeings this is cargo lux which apparently is one of the culprits we see quite often doing chemtrails but this jet will burn up thousands of litres of fuel in just a, a few hours um, in fact the CO2 according to them CO2 causes global warming and they are on about using jets similar to this for spraying geoengineering particulates for global warming prevention or, or reduction now one of these jets flying from the USA over to Europe will actually um, emit as much as nearly 50,000 kilos of CO2 so think about this 50,000 kilos of CO2 for one jet there's nearly 3,000 jets flying that means 10 jets emit 500,000 kilos and 100 is 5 million you can work out the rest it's absolutely incredible amount of emissions which are being put out across the Atlantic and in the atmosphere on the planet so to use one of these jets to actually deploy geoengineering just doesn't stack up and the CO2 can be there for thousands of years because the higher you spray CO2 the longer it stays there in the atmosphere according to them this is what the scientists tell us now just look at these figures here that we've got let's just go to the page so for example a 737-400 which Alan Brobock recommended um, for a one and a half hour flight travelling 1200 kilometres will emit 11,353 kilos of CO2 we've got nearly 3000 aircraft flying across from the USA so we've got all the statistics here all agreed with the uh, intergovernmental panel of climate change um, they admit that co2 emissions uh, are the specs from these planes is actually correct and in here it shows I can find the one these are all the different aircrafts doing this back but it says that potentially this co2 can stay there for thousands of years but the main thing is these jets are creating these cloud formations everywhere they fly because we believe they are adding it to the fuel and I'm just finding this there's loads of halocarbon molecules um, that are they just before they are degraded they can require thousands of years so think about that they want an aircraft to deploy geoengineering that will last three days and yet the CO2 can last for thousands of years that is a net loss that is not a gain so when we look at the recommendations their own figures don't even stack up it's an impossible scenario so when we see ongoing cloud formations apart from things like CERN and EMF equipment that they've got for manipulating these you now know why that we see these cloud formations and particulates everywhere where jets fly it's catastrophic we have jets flying there across the states 
this is the jet stream what we've said there's the UK this is incredible only where the jets fly you can see these clouds being formed day this is July 2016 just look at that exactly where they fly it couldn't be any clearer than this